Good morning. Hope you're having a great morning. My kids were so ecstatic last night and today in the morning, the ones that didn't make it through the night, the Red Sox won and it was a second walk-off. You know, back in the day when I was growing up, <laughs> Yankee fans used to say, what's the difference between Yankee Stadium and Fenway Park? And they used to laughingly and teasingly say, in Yankee Stadium, they serve hot dogs in October. Because back in the day, the Red Sox didn't make it much. They haven't won a World Series. But then 2004 came. When the Red Sox again weren't expected <laughs> to win and they were down 3 nothing to the Yankees. And then they came back and they swept that series and they won their World Series. And who's going to ever forget that year? And since then they've won a lot. But there's something special about that year. And there's something special about this year. You see, when you're expected to win, when everyone's rooting for you, when you're the team on top, that's what you expected. The pressure's there. And if you don't succeed, everyone's, you know, saying, oh, you, you were down or you didn't live up to your expectations. But this year, back in that year, and even this year, the Red Sox, even if they don't win another game, Fenway, Boston fans are super excited. They didn't even expect them to possibly make it into the playoffs. Definitely not to beat the Yankees and the Rays. They won two teams. So as an underdog, expectations are good. Like Abraham, the first Jew. Abraham was the first Jew. In this week's Torah portion, we read about Abraham Lech Lecha going on his first journey. And you know, Abraham is called a Hebrew. One of the reasons he's called a Hebrew was because everyone was on one side and he was on the other. He bucked all the trends. He went against, <laughs> he went against what was popular. He went against what was in. No one thought that there was any hope for him, but he did it anyways. And he succeeded and he won. Not only he won, he brought monotheism to the world and he changed the world. But well, people always ask, why was Abraham the first Jew? What about Noah? You know, my daughters, <coughs> they love watching all these influencers on, on Instagram. Some of these influencers could have a million followers and people pay them to, you know, advertise their things, etc., etc. And it's a very popular thing today on Instagram to have an influencer. You know, Noah, when God told Noah there was going to be a flood coming to the world, Noah didn't go out and try to change people's minds and try to get them to repent. In fact, the rabbis tell us that God made, gave him such a long time to build the ark so hopefully people would see and they would ask why and he would tell them and then they would say, you know what, I want to repent and they would join him on the table but not one person joined him. Abraham, on the other hand, was an influencer. He went out there, he changed people's lives, he inspired them, he taught them to to change their ways, to believe in God, to believe in one God. That's why Abraham's the first Jew. Because being Jewish is not just about you. It's about influencing and impacting others. It's about making a difference in someone else's life. And that's why the first Jew that we read about in this Torah portion is Abraham. Because the lesson to us is that we have to be influencers. We have to be people that impact others. You know, people always came every Sunday. The Lubavitcher Rebbe, blessed memory, would stand for six, seven, eight hours and he would give out dollars. People would come, they would ask for a blessing, for a prayer, and he gave you a dollar to give to charity. But what was the message? Why did he give you a dollar? He could have just spoke to you, gave you a blessing, and that's it. What was the message? And the Rebbe always quoted his father-in-law, the previous Rebbe, who said that when two Jews meet, they have to speak about how they're going to help a third Jew. How are we going to influence and impact someone else's life? That's what it means to be a Jew, to learn in the way of Abraham. It wasn't about him. It was about impacting the next one. That's the message. Look how he prayed for Stalm and Gomorrah. He prayed because he cared about influencing not just him and his family, but about influencing others. God bless you and have a great day.